All right, guys, we are back. This is the Great Fish Niz, and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4 in Kaiserrak mod. We are playing as Ireland, and we have just got our paratroopers researched. Thank goodly goodness. All right, so that being said, that provides us with an ability to train some people so that we can uh, we can invade Britain and free our Scottish and Welsh brethren. Ah, uh, see, impressive advances made. Given time and plenty of funding, the ESIC has developed into a modern force in scientific research to the point where Ireland is starting to be seen as a respected nation in terms of its research and development capabilities. No longer shall the Irish people be mocked as peasant farmers and louts. Ha ha! Back of the net. All right. Two more percent research time off. Oh, that's awesome. All right. 1937. It's September... I think we need to go ahead and, and pick up the synthetic oil research just in case because I know we picked up some oil. But it doesn't mean it's going to be enough. Right now we are just breaking even. Um, we're going to have to build some more oil refineries at some point. Speaking of building, I would love to be able to build anything at all. Oh my god, these three factories are just destroying us. So, that being said, is there anything along here that can give us some, uh, some, some civilian factories? German economy recovers, has fully recovered from Black Monday, allowing trade to recover. Oh, that's good. That's good. Hopefully that means we will soon be out of the Black Monday plague. Ah, let's see. This is all military stuff. Let's let's get up out of the military stuff. The world stage we're not really worried about. Um, is there anything here that's going to build? I think there should be something over here. Civilian factory. Hey, there's one. You can at least knock that one out, just to say. All right, industrial business center, and I, these these little continual things seem to be doing really well. I think I think I was going to go for the for the aluminum, but instead I believe we're going to go for the civilian factory. Uh, and and we're going to try. That adds some infrastructure. I'm going to try to, uh, ooh, immigration reform, that could get us some people, maybe? Production efficiency, that's good, too. Okay, so we're going to try to, uh, to go for our civilian factories there. Let's take a look, we, we haven't touched any of the political questions of the day. I, I, I think it's, I think it's important that we do. Status of Ulster. I don't really... These are unionists. Don't, I don't know what they're unioning with. But I have a feeling this is going to be something that's going to pop up on us. So we might as well need to at least get that going. What's this going to say? It's, a lot of these are just popping up our political power like crazy. Thing with some national unity, that's good. Can't can't say that the Irish youth scouts or the Irish scouts are a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. Okay. All right. So I, I think we need to we need to get our factory, and then we need to move through some of these political questions of the day. Also, we might want to look at ourselves on the world stage, because we know what our goal is. We know our goal is to free our brethren. Okay. How are we going to do that? How are we? Oh, look. This gives us a uh, trade war. Give us the future. We've had enough of your past. I, wow. Gains an annexed war goal against Britain. Okay. So that's how we can, we can trigger our war with Britain right there. Okay. Man, there's just there, these trees are so massive. Oh, look at all these land forts. Oh, wow, these are great. All sorts of forts. Okay. Naval, bunch of naval stuff here. Army, superior firepower, mobile warfare, an honorable army. Or a people's army. 
patriotic or professional. Wow. Okay, so these are... Hmm. All right, heavy industrial focus has been done. That's uh, that was down here, and I think I think we will have to continue that in the future. But right now, we've got to get we've got to get these civilian factories built up. Okay. So we are still short on our aluminum. We're one short on steel. Hmm. Let's see, where's our resource map? We've got some steel. If we do pick up that 10% bonus on our efficiency, we may be able to pick up a couple more. Because uh, we're picking up 19 right now, that would be 1.9. Uh, we could, that's do, 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 in here. We could pick up that twice. So we should be able to get, get three, three more steel. Might be worth it. I was questioning it before. I don't, I don't remember if that was this episode or the previous episode. Wow, we're up to seven, 70. Some of our guys have recruited out. That's awesome. Let's get some paratroopers training. Um. I'll set you right here. Let's take a look at what you guys have. Just three paratroopers. That's it. That's that's uh that's splendid. They're not really needed there to hold for long. They're there to take some places and run. Um also we're gonna try with our radar station when we build it. Uh to naval invade at the same time. But we want our paratroopers to be able to take some of the cities in, in the back. Oh, good. We've got our tanks researched. Uh, let's go ahead and research the better version of the light tank. And while we're at it, because I think we're producing that, yeah, let's get that. Let's get real tanks in there. We've got to upgrade 60 of them. That's okay. We can upgrade. They are a tad more expensive. Actually, they look to be about the same, but they are better. They are better tanks. Now, is there anywhere? It's having a civil war that we can help out by get some army experience. Can we send volunteers? No, we need to have at least 15 divisions to send volunteer forces. And we currently have seven. So that's not going to do us a whole lot of good. Let's see. Transport planes. We haven't built one yet. <laughs> God bless it. They take forever. We need to get some more military factories so we can build up fighters also. Kind of want to build at least one of these before we do that. Our ideology has grown. It costs us 25 political power but gives us an additional three percent in our ideology which is good because right now we are just now hitting 52 percent we want that to be as strong as possible keeps our popularity we're at modern right now if we go up to high gives us more political power very high does also Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just setting up our transport planes right here. Let's move them up here, actually. So that we can see what kind of range they have. We're going to do normal operations. They're transport planes. Come on. Guess they don't want to move there. That's fine. So their range is essentially all of England. So we're good to go. We'll be able to drop anywhere we want anywhere we want indeed now I happen to know Canada look at this homecoming planning haha <laughs> they're not talking about a school dance where's that one at good god these things are massive these guys are gonna start getting ready to invade Britain once they do we need to be ready means we're also going to have to set our other national focuses. So we've got to get that. We've got to get that extra factory. The uh, the dealing with our enemies. Give us the future. And then we'll be ready as soon as we are to... Because that's only a 21-day completion time. So as soon as Canada de declares war in their whole union, we can also declare war. Yes, so we will have to pick that up. Oh good, we got our synthetic oil. Let's go ahead and pick up our excavation. We'll pick up that number one and number two because apparently it is going to help us out. 
1937. Like every election since 1921, even the elections are marred by perpetual man manipulations from the ruling fine gal party, Turlisks, whatever that is, and the leader of our nation, Michael Collins, who, dis who despite his high popularity among his citizens, wants to remain in power at any cost. They can win by manipulation, or the Democratic opposition wins by manipulation, despite manipulation. Hmm. Hmm. I like, um, well, let's see, what are we? We are the authoritarian Democrats. I kind of want us to do that. And this is going to give us Eon O'Duffy. And he's going to give us minus 5% consumer goods factors. Let's let's do that. And I think he's down here. There he is. Yeah. He's head of government. High popularity. Nice. All right. So this is going to give us a daily political power gain of 0.25 per day. Ah, the Ottomans. The Ottomans are attacking Armenia. Where the hell is Armenia? find it I should know where Armenia is oh wow I thought Armenia was larger than that yeah sure the uh, the Ottomans low manpower okay so we need to kind of calm some of this down let's end that one the Russians are attacking Alash Orda those are the same guys that were fighting the Turkish Chinese things all right so we've got our industry for Ireland, but we do not have our factory. All right, pause for a second. Let's get our factory. More wars. The IFI initiative. The government, <coughs> excuse me, have ordered that the extensive funds be made available for the rapid industrialization of our nation. Too many Irish men and women are without jobs. Many British-owned factories were closed down when Ireland gained their independence, and have since fallen into disrepair. Ireland's industry lacks any real focus or direction. Despite the population being eager and ready to work, it's up to the government to decide just how much of an investment in the civilian industry they wish to make. Listen, we've learned from this. Always do the major, major, major amount. And you know what? This one's only going to cost us 25 political power. We have 134. We're good. Because so far, the EIS or ESIC thing has done a huge bonus to us. Look at that, 6% research time. Black Monday is still kicking our butts. We're going to have to figure out how to get out of that. All right, so another thing that we're short on now is manpower. We don't have a ton. Uh, in fact, we had to stop producing normal soldiers. Uh, our, uh, yeah, I can't, I, can't I, I don't know the words. I don't, I, I'm not going to pretend to. I'm not going to butcher Gaelic, the Irish, you know, language. But I'm going to say I have no idea what it says. So let's take a look here. We have produced our first, uh, transport plane I have selected it to go to up to 50 at that airport that's that'll be something uh, I don't I don't think we're gonna get there anytime soon um, especially considering we have 150 days that's not too bad till the next civilian factory and then a radar factor or radar and then uh, some of so we will see we will see we may end up just going straight na uh, naval invasion um, let's take a look at what our where'd you go guys oh we're paused we're paused let's take a look at the border here yeah they're uh, they're defending quite heavily Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna definitely have to wait on Canada to help us invade. Uh, I don't really want to join their union. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I want to join their their faction. Hmm. Let's see. What are the faction map mode? Here we go. 
third international Entente. The Axis, boy, that's a really weird axis. Who are these guys? Middle Europa. Okay. The Latin American Union. Ah, the Entente. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I guess. Alright, we have our motorized. We cannot... We are a year ahead of time for rocket artillery. But we are in 1938. Let's pick up some of this. Let's take a look. Okay, we're good there. Let's pick up our research time bonus right here. Because right now we've got 18%. That's fantastic. The faster we research, the better. Oh, okay. So the Great Khanate. That's why they're attacking. I think uh, joining the Entente. 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 There we go may be beneficial to us. Maybe. Mm. Of course, we could join Middle Europa. We also have the option of joining this group of sociopaths and commies. Let's not do that. Let's not join the commies. I wonder if they defended that island. What's this? Denmark control zone. What are the Danes doing? Hmm. They don't seem to be in a faction. I wonder if we could create our own faction. Fourth Balkan War. We knew that. We knew it was happening. It's everybody against Bulgaria over there. We're not terribly worried about it. Okay, 1938. We could up our radar station to level two. I don't think we're going to need to do that. Maybe we will. Let's let's pick up the infantry equipment. We still don't have enough people to send volunteers. We're going to have 15 divisions. With our manpower the way it is, I don't know if we'll be able to. Can we go to... Uh... Oh, we're on limited conscription already. We could go to extensive. That will double our recruitable population. Ah. We don't have any estimated enemies. We are not at war. Okay. We can't do that until we go to war. Hmm. That's kind of a, a downer for us. See, our guns are doing well. We need more transport planes. How are we looking? Uh... We could throw another one of these factories onto the transport planes, get those knocked out, or we could start building our fighters. We could start building our fighters. Let's see. Let's start getting what equipment we can built up. We'll have to wait on this to uh, production efficiency to go up before we can get any reasonable idea of how many we're going to have. But it looks like they're already building a lot faster than the transport planes. We should be all right. Get the the Irish Air Force. That was a terrible accent. Terrible. Jap Septicai would be very sad that I did that. Very very sad. He's crying right now. Since we made Jack Jacksepticeye cry, we're going to go ahead and say that's it for today's episode, guys. Um, not a lot has happened yet. I was hoping for this to be a shorter uh, series. I think what I'm going to do is actually have these release at a faster rate. Um, to kind of burn through these, let's get these done, and then we can move on to whatever we're going to do. Um, for now, though, this is The Great Fish News. I am out.